Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we will be going to discuss about Spring IC container. Let's get started. First we will be trying to have a look at the Spring IC container and try to understand how the Spring IC container looks like. The Spring IC container is responsible for instantiating, configuring and assembling the Spring Beans. The container gets its instruction on what objects to instantiate, configure and assemble by reading the configuration metadata. The configuration metadata is represented in XML, Java annotation or Java code. This diagram is a high level view of how Spring works. The application POJOs are combined with configuration metadata so that after the Spring IC container is created and initialized, you have a fully configured and executable system. Let's try to have a look at a typical Spring container. The term container came just because it contains all the Spring objects. Manages their life cycle till destruction. The container acts as a factory for creating the objects inside it using some configuration files. Let's try to have a look at some of the questions asked during the interview. What is the use of Spring Container? It creates the Spring Beans, wires them together, configures them, and manages their life cycle till destruction. It uses dependency injection to manage these spring beans. How many types of spring containers are there? There are two types of spring IC containers. The first one being the bean factory. The second one being the application context. We'll be trying to understand the spring bean factory container. This is the simplest container providing the basic support for DI or dependency injection. It is an interface for an advanced factory capable of maintaining a registry of different beans and their dependencies. The bean factory enables to read bean definitions and access them using the bean factory. Now XML bean factory is one of the implementation of bean factory. In Java code, we can write as bean factory factory equals new XML bean factory new file input stream within quotes beans.xml. Here we'll be trying to understand the Spring application context container. This is the sub interface of bean factory. It includes all the functionalities of Bean Factory on top of which it provides the following functionalities. The first one, message resource handling for internationalization. Second one, publish events to registered listeners using application listener interface. Loading of multiple contexts, allowing each to be focused on a particular layer. For example, the web layer of an application, the fourth one, load resources such as file or URL. What are the differences between Bean Factory and Application Context? Now we should know all the differences between these two before we get ready for the interview. The Bean Factory instantiates Bean when get bean method is called. The application context instantiate singleton bean when container is started. The bean factory by default supports lazy loading. On the other hand, the application context by default supports eager loading. The bean factory does not provide support for internationalization. On the other hand, the application context provides message support for internationalization. The bean factory cannot publish events to beans. On the other hand, the application context can publish events to beans registered as listeners. The bean factory does not support annotation based DI, whereas the application context supports annotation based DI. The bean factory provides only two bean scopes. 
that is singleton and prototype whereas the application context supports all the bean scopes that is singleton prototype session request session and global session the bean factory does not support jndi access egb integration and rebooting whereas application context supports many jndi access egb integration and rebooting the bean factory only supports one configuration file whereas the application context supports more than one configuration file in bean factory there is no automatic registration support for bean post processor and bean factory post processor application context supports automatic registration for bean post processor and bean factory post processor now if you like this video please subscribe to this channel because we would be coming up with more spring topics hope you have liked this video thanks for watching see you in our next video soon